Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Tech Tuesday. So today we're gonna to be chatting about the new iPhone 7 Pro. Now this rumor sort of popped up the past couple of days and I was reading about it yesterday and I was getting really, really excited. So it looks like from some of the things that I've read that people are speculating that there's gonna be an iPhone 7 Pro, an iPhone 7 Plus, and an iPhone 7 I wanna say basic, but that's not what they're gonna be calling it, but they should, cause that would be awesome. The iPhone 7 basic. Hey, look at my iPhone 7 basic. I'm just a basic iPhone buying basic person. So the big announcement will be on March 21st, so then we'll actually find out what is going to be announced and when it'll be released. Let's just hop right into some of the iPhone 7 Pro rumors. Apple is launching an iPhone 7 Pro and the internet is going crazy. When they say the internet, I don't, who does that encompass? Because that doesn't encompass everyone because not every single person on the internet is going crazy. I mean, I'm going crazy, but we've already established that I am crazy and I love Apple a lot. <laughs> Some of you guys might have seen that one video. I'm blanking on the dude's name, but he does like these crazy, ridiculous, terrible illustrations in like Microsoft Paint and pretty much just making fun of everybody who gets hyped up about Samsung and Apple phones. And he called me out for being one of the first people in line. And everyone's like, oh, you got roasted. I was like, dude, I mean, I slept outside for three days for a phone. Yeah, I think, I think I know what I'm doing. I'm clearly not sane. Uh, so I thought the video was really funny. So for anyone who thought I was offended, I thought it was hilarious. But moving right along to exactly what he was talking about. <laughs> The internet is going crazy over an iPhone 7 Pro. Now, I think this is kind of crazy if they do decide to do three different models of the same phone. If it really is only the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, just an upgraded version of that, the iPhone 7, then the iPhone 7 Pro will be sort of the big update. What the heck is this? Office of Ballerina. Okay. So we're only a week away from the rumored release of the new iPhone 5 SE, which I think they've already established that it's gonna be called the iPhone SE and not the 5, which would be extremely silly. Let's call the new iPhone whatever that is not a 5. They've already messed up their numbering sequences, so it really, at this point, I would not be surprised if they call it the iPhone 5 SE, which I don't think they should. The bigger news, the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, but word on the street is we'll be getting an iPhone 7 Pro. Let's just click through and see where this takes us. March two. It's March 8. Okay, well, we've already talked about this. For the dual lens, which will basically have two rear-facing cameras, it'll allow you to take better, sharper pics in low light and get rid of the slight protrusion from the lens in the back of your phone. Show of hands of anybody who does not use a case on your iPhone because it slips right out of my hand. I had this for two seconds when I first got it. Cracked. So they're saying Apple can't produce the camera modules in enough quantity, so it'll create a third smartphone just to get the technology to the market to make more limited quantities. So that's kind of interesting. So basically they're saying that they're not gonna be able to get enough of the dual cameras. So hey, let's just make three phones, throw in the better camera in the iPhone 7 Pro, make you guys pay more for it, which we're going to do, and then upgrade those other two phones, which would essentially be a better version of the six. <laughs> right here, we know, we're suckers. Let's see what else we can find. Dual lens camera will be introduced in the iPhone 7. Yes, we know, this was March 7th, so this was yesterday. This patent outlines a dual camera system that consists of one standard wide angle lens, similar to what's on the iPhone today, and a second telephoto lens capturing zoomed in photos. Both lenses can be used simultaneously to take two separate photos. When capturing video or photo, users are able to transition between both lenses seamlessly, tapping on a spot. But what's They're interesting right. about this is that what's instead interesting. of just switching between the two cameras to get a zoomed in view and one that's not something like what the LG G5 does, this will actually let you use both of those camera modules, the zoomed in one, at the, the same one, time. At the same time. And Apple outlines a photo taking opportunity at a child's birthday party. A parent could capture a video of the moment before the candle and the cake are blown out using the standard wide angle iPhone camera and then tap on the screen to open a split screen view and activate the telephoto lens for a close up portrait shot of the exact moment the candles are blown out. That's cool. I'm in that. According to the patent, both cameras are able to be used separately. That'll be really interesting. So let's do some comparisons and see if we can figure out how big the iPhone 7 Pro might be. iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus. So if you were to be the iPhone 7, what color do we want the iPhone 7 to be? Oh, oh that's pretty. All right, are you ready? iPhone 7. Hi, Jen. Hi. Do you want to see the iPhone 7? Okay. While I'm making it. This is looking real good. Like, I'm taking this very seriously. I think that's good enough. You guys get the point. Like, it's not real, so 
Guys, my puppy has a cone on his head. Our little, my little baby has a cone. So that is what I think the iPhone 7 Plus Pro, whatever it's gonna be called. I think it'll be that big, for sure. I'm not really quite sure the dimensions of it, but it's gonna look nice. <laughs> it's a little excessive. If you guys are ever looking for really high quality Apple images, if you go to apple.com slash PR, they have tons of info and really great high quality photos. I thought this was interesting from Gizmodo. Every Apple product that is probably in the works. The four inch iPhone, already been established. The iPad Air 3, do people even talk about the iPad Pro anymore? I think for illustrators, the iPad Pro is fantastic, but if you're not really doing illustration or anything crazy, it's a little big. Apple Watch 2, I love my Apple Watch. I don't really use my Apple Watch as necessarily a smartwatch. I use it for the calendar, I use it to read my messages, and I use it to actually tell time. I don't really use many of the other apps, so I don't know about you guys, but if you do, let me know some of your favorite Apple Watch apps. I'm sure there's some awesome ones, but I don't really use them that often. iPhone 7, optical image stabilization, killer zoom, it could have dual cameras. I think we've already decided that. And one of the huge things, which was a huge debate in one of the previous videos that I made, is will Apple remove the headphone jack? They do have three versions of the iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 Pro maybe potentially would be the one they remove the headphone jack, and the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7 Basic, which is what we're gonna, we're just gonna call it that. Those ones may still have the headphone jack since it could be just an upgraded version of the 6, and the Pro could sort of be the whole new version of the iPhone 7. So that's what I'm kind of thinking because I don't think people are ready for fully Bluetooth headsets. I don't think they are. Even if there are lightning cable adapters, I still I don't think people are ready and I think that might be a little too soon. Apple TV 4, holy moly, you just came out with another one. A new streaming service that could cost 30 to $40 a month. That's a lot. So that would be actually be interesting if you were able to watch local channels like ABC, CBS, and Fox. But still, $40 a month? I don't know if that's, I'm not sure. That better include Apple Music. That's all I'm saying. Another question for you guys. Who uses Apple Music? Anybody? Next up, iPad mini 5. Speculated to be thinner than, oh, well, thinner, really? I mean, honestly, what? you can only make these things so thin until it completely disappears, until you just have a freaking contact implant. So can we just skip to that, because I'm ready. Just put the contacts into my eyes. Let me just, let me just be not a human any longer. I feel like the iPad mini 5 definitely should have 3D touch. Not that anybody uses it. I really hardly ever use it except when I accidentally touch it too hard and I'm like, whoops, <laughs> everything is going crazy. I'm accidentally sending pictures and things are just going <gasps> everywhere. What have we got, anything? It's too early to guess. Yeah, it's definitely way too early. I mean, I feel like iOS 9 just came out. New MacBook with Skylake chips. Looks faster and more powerful. Anyway, moving right along, let's look up some more things about the iPhone. 7 Pro because this is this is what this is what homie wants to know. Let's see what kind of images we've got. What the hell is this? This is like a what, you're drunk. Go home. This is like a mini a mini MacBook iPhone 7 evolution in every dimension. Ed Sheeran, I'm into that. That's so thin. Like I cannot get over that. This is interesting. Will, hmm. I wonder if this will have the capability of doing 3D. That's hideous. This just, this this is, I mean, it looks cool, but I really don't think Apple is gonna do away with any of the buttons yet because I feel like they put so much into the Touch ID that they're not ready to sort of do away with that. And if this is the full screen, where are you gonna put the Touch ID? That's just, I'm, that's disgusting. Apple's never gonna do the light up on the back of the phone. And if they do, I'm gonna be extremely upset because you could not find any more ways to waste any more battery life. All we want is to have a longer battery life. My phone is the size of my body and I can't even go a whole day with my phone being charged. What the hell is this? What is this? What it looks like one of the Apple TV remotes. Are you on drugs? That does, that's not right. It's so skinny. I actually really do like the colored iPhones. I thought that was a really good idea. Oh, hey, look at my clear iPhone. Look what I've got. Do you like it? Looks good. <laughs> this is my new iPhone. It's invisible. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Happy Tech Tuesday. Let me know in the comments below any of the things that I asked you in this video. At this point, I don't even remember. What are you most looking forward to in the new iPhone? What do you think about the lack of a headphone jack? And what do you think that Apple will be announcing on March 21st at their big announcement? I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go edit this video now. Peace. Honey, I'm very, very sorry to do this to you. Maddie, just hold on, we're going home. You know who said that? Drake said that.